Watching your favorite superheroes kick some butt on the big screen or the page is a thrilling time. Unless, of course, you actually start to think logically about it. Then it all falls apart. Let's do that now, shall we? Captain America may be the symbol of hope and heroism for the Marvel brand, but not even he is safe from logic. You see, Cap was a scrawny kid who took a serum that supposedly transformed him into a super soldier. The only thing is, the serum just brought him to the peak of human physicality, which means there's nothing technically super about him. Better than average soldier serum would have been a better name. Thor's hammer Mjolnir gives him many abilities, but one from the comics just doesn't make any sense. Along with flight and thunder, Thor's hammer can open portals anywhere in the universe. It's essentially as powerful as the Space Stone. While Jessica Drew may share a common theme with Peter Parker, some of her powers are definitely out there. Based on the arachnid blood concoction from the High Evolutionary, the climbing walls and strength make sense. It's the ability to shoot energy blasts and fly that has us perplexed. If spiders could do that, I think I'd just leave. There were actually two Spider-Women in the Avengers, and the other one was Julia Carpenter. Pretty typical powers for a Spider-Person, but for the life of me to this day I have no idea why her Spider-Venom serum gave her psychic and psionic abilities. Yet another thing spiders better not be able to do. Namor is a mutant leader of Atlantis, and has had several adventures fighting with and against the Avengers. Along with his incredible power set comes his ability to fly. You know, due to really tiny wings on his ankles. I guess physics don't mean much. James Rhodes as War Machine may look cool, but upon further inspection, something doesn't add up. First of all, there's nowhere to store ammo, and with the amount that that guy uses, he's got maybe five minutes of fight time. Not to mention his giant missile on his shoulder, inches from his head. Hope no one aims for that thing. Luke Cage may seem to have simple powers, but there is no way they work the way Marvel claims. Unbreakable skin means zero medical treatment. Can he feel pain? Absolutely. Therefore, any internal injuries would be his demise right away. Wolverine is one of the strongest Avengers thanks to his healing factor. As time goes on, his healing makes less and less sense. He used to need some time for large wounds, and had even died in circumstances that today he heals almost instantly from. Beyond his reluctance to use his powers to go inside people and make them explode, you know, except for the Hulk, Ant-Man's powers have always had a loophole. Especially when he grows, his mass should stay the same. His muscles are bigger but not stronger. Essentially, he becomes a giant skyscraper of a man who weighs about 200 pounds. Spider-Man has some awesome powers, but it seems that every Spider-themed hero is given at least one power that makes no sense. For Peter, it's his Spider-Sense. This borders on precognition, and works nothing like a spider's multi-eyed vision. Wonder Man's incredible strength and invulnerability comes from his ionic powers. And that's where logic ends. He's a being made of energy, yet he has a physical form, and has no energy distribution powers. Seems like a roundabout explanation that lacks sense. The Scarlet Witch wasn't always insanely powerful, but in the mid-2000s, the comics basically made her a god. Some writers make her all-powerful, and other writers say she needs help. The confusing part about Wanda's powers is what exactly is the extent of them? The Wasp suffers from size-altering illogicality as well. However, she has an extra layer when you think of how her wings work. When she shrinks, the wings on her suit shrink with her. Assuming her mass is still the same, which it is, then there's no way that the Wasp should be able to fly. Quicksilver suffers from the physics issues that should be present in all speedsters. Sure, there's things like friction and muscle density, but without invulnerability, being a speedster has to hurt. Especially super fast punches. That impact should hurt Quicksilver more than the person he's punching. Tony Stark may be awesome, but there's a reason that there's no real-life Iron Man. Tony's suit is not aerodynamic in the slightest. He shouldn't be able to stay aloft while horizontal. He's just too heavy. Still, at least he looks cool. Logic out the window, who cares? As long as big green guys are punching metal people, I'm satisfied. Which Avengers powers make no sense. 